Preparation is the key to catching really big snapper, and we like premium, fresh frozen baits that present really nice. Jack mackerel, mullet, piper, pilchards, it all works really well, and we're gonna show you how to rig them now. Rigging up your baits correctly can be paramount to the success of catching big snapper. And for catching big snapper, our first and foremost choice is a jack mackerel. That's a above medium size, and that's our favorite bait for big snapper. We prefer a two hook rig, and I use a simple long line knot through the, through the eye. Go around about six, seven, eight times. Doesn't matter, I don't even count. I just go around until it looks good, which is about yay. And then you just feed the back end. That tag's a little bit long, but that's okay. And then your second hook is just free floating. Now this rig here we're gonna show you, this can be applied to a pilchard, piper, jack mackerel, any bait fish, even a squid. And I'll show you how to do it for simple anchor, bait and burly fishing. So first and foremost, the main hook straight through there through the backbone just like that we wrap around once or twice and then with our trailing hook we wrap around a couple of times like that through the backbone again and then we do a half hitch around the tail and that's our stock standard bait rig and we can adjust from there quite often we'll rip the head off just like yay just a little, blood, a little bit of blood and guts out, a little bit of scent. The more you play with your bait, the more pickers you are going to get. That rig there can be applied to a pilchard, piper, jack mackerel, any bait fish you use. And the reason we tighten up that last hook and put, a, and put the half hitch on is just so it stays nice and firm. It's not going to pull out. You can cast it. It's not going to fly out. Real easy. Our favourite cut bait for, for Big Snapper is the Butterfly Jack Mackerel. We've all heard of it, it's real simple, and I'll show you how you do it. It's just to come in there behind the scoot and just slide along like you would filleting a fish, both sides. Doesn't have to be super tidy, and then you're just left with that, and you just simply cut out the backbone. Get rid of that, and then you've got a nice, nice bait that just wafts in the breeze. Our preferred method for rigging these is just one hook, one 10 bar row through there, so that just sits nice and flush like that. Our second, our second hook just goes in through the scale. So that it's nice and firm you can pull on that nothing's going to come away big snapper just comes in they're always going to grab it head first come in pull away and you're in business one of the most readily available bait sources in new zealand is either a mullet or a kawai and this this bait demonstration will work for any fresh big large big fresh kawai mullet skipjack anything you please if you're targeting a really big snapper you need a really big bait and there's nothing better than a whole, whole chunk of mullet just fillet it like you would any fish. You can scale it if you want. Scale it, don't scale it, doesn't really matter. That's a whole fillet. And this you want to feed the hook through a few times. Normally I would scale it, but for purpose of this we haven't. You want plenty of hook showing on a bait like this because it is a big bait. All right, lots of hook showing. And then again, with that last hook, that free floating hook, just wrap the mono around two or three times, plant that in there. And then your last simple half hitch to keep it all nice and tight. All right, and that just looks like that.